Yeah, Wendy, Mike, that's correct. It was pure pandemonium behind me here inside the McKeesport City Council Chambers earlier tonight, swearing, yelling. It was so bad this meeting was canceled about 20 minutes after it began. And tonight, this controversy, it all centers on the swearing in of a brand new councilman. No, <laughs> 45 year old Corey J. Sanders is a married father of four who owns a barber shop in downtown McKeesport as a deacon at a Pittsburgh church. He was elected to the McKeesport City Council in November, but it turns out a 1993 drug conviction could bar him from serving. Right now, this isn't healthy for the city of McKeesport. Monday's council meeting got so bad it was quickly adjourned. Sanders served four years in prison, 1993 to 1997. Since then, his record's been spotless. As a result of those convictions, Mr. Sanders is constitutionally ineligible to hold public office. In order to hold public office, he would need to seek a full pardon from the governor. That's what was said from Assistant District Attorney Kevin McCarthy in a letter to McKeesport's mayor. However, Sanders and Councilwoman Fawn Walker Montgomery say he was already sworn in by a judge on Monday. Sanders says he'll sit with council until he's removed and thanked his supporters. It feels good. The community is a whole. Walker Montgomery said the hypocrisy is that other elected officials have had convictions. So blocking Sanders, she says, amounts to a double standard. If we're going to bring up the law, then why was it that when you took your car to a building with the DUI, why are you still sitting here? <laughs> In the meantime, both Sanders and his supporters say they won't stop showing up for city council meetings. If it's a fight they want, it's a fight they're going to get. We're going to be here every time. We're going to see to it that he sits in that seat. Now, Sanders has hired an attorney to actually petition the governor for that pardon that we talked about. Tonight's meeting, though, was canceled. The rest of this week's meetings all canceled. So this is very much up in the air. Also in this situation, the DA's office, they say that they will have to prevent them from taking office as their duty. They'll take this to the Court of Common Pleas if they have to. Reporting in Eastport, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Yeah, Bo